Hello everyone, so in today's review we're going to look at Transference by Mark Elsden and Illusionist. So what is the basic effect? It's you have a script either on your phone or on your phone you give to the participant and you claim that you're going to transfer your magic to them and they will now be able to do a trick to you. So by using this script and a deck of cards, they're able to do an, any card at any number, for example, to do a prediction effect, a mentalism effect. You can even have um, kind of a duo effect where you do a trick to the now magician spectator and the spectator does a trick to you and both trick match. Uh, so there's five effects and that's basically it. The crux of it is you have different scripts that you give to the spectator for them to follow instructions and tell you what to do with the deck or they do with the deck themselves and in the end they're going to be the one doing the trick to you so it goes around it's now i think 20 dollars on the illusionist site so what do you get it's a download and you get of course the video which is 51 minutes long and you get the five scripts so for the video instruction, Mark Elson is a really good teacher. He teaches you everything you need to know in, in pretty much great detail. He goes over the scripts, everything that you need to know. So the instructional video is really good. Now, however, we're going to go into the routines. And I've read a lot of questions on the forum for a lot of people. Uh, and for those that read kind of those forums, yes, most of everything that people say it's kind of true, so I won't tell you the forms or anything, but if you're pretty well known, you probably already know kind of what's going on. So for those who don't, the main routine uses a can use a borrowed deck or your deck, and it's a completely ordinary deck, so you can basically just go at the dollar store with your spectator, buy a cheap deck, and do the trick. However, some other routines require, I won't say what it is, but for those magicians that you know, playing cards that come, you know, on Maiden backs or Phoenix backs that are not bicycle and have some uh, special qualities, might I say, to them. So that was one of the main things uh, that I thought and that was discussed. And yes, it does use that for the most part. And for the other, the main routine, which uses a borrowed deck, you do have kind of to do some sneaky things. And I don't know if personally I'm going to do that. I prefer to just use a deck like this than use a borrowed deck and have to do the uh, the special things you have to do uh, when performing. It's really, it's just an instant, but for me, I'd be scared to do it as of now. I haven't tried it, so take that in mind, but I don't see myself in that kind of environment to do that because if the spectator is a little bit funny or kind of uh, hyperactive he may go too fast or not really listen so it kind of it's kind of hard so i just prefer to go with something like this and be surefire i haven't performed it to the public yet i'm gonna try it out tonight um i did it to some family and honestly they weren't as impressed as i thought uh, i did build up tricks to them because this is not really an opening effect so I did come some build up tricks to them and then did this and they kind of they kind of they didn't they liked it but they didn't say it was amazing. There are some other tricks where even though they've seen probably thousands of hours of me practicing in my magic, there are still tricks even now that make them gasp and this was not really one of it. Um Apart from that, you also need a routine with a rainbow deck if you want. I think that routine is very powerful that you could actually, that I would actually do. Uh, the other routines, if I carry around a deck such as so, I will maybe just try, you know, kind of a funny moment, but we'll see how it goes tonight. Um, for me, basically, the instructions are really good. The scripts are good and funny. Uh, I do think that there are some parts that, you know, could have been like that you could edit the scripts. There's no possibility, at least from what I tried to actually edit the scripts, because there are some parts that I that I don't really like in them. Um, so, yeah, like the effect works super easily um, with this. It works 100 percent of the time with this, with a bar deck. It should work 99.9 percent .9 of the time. Um, so yeah, the only thing for me is that 
even from the trailer, it seemed obvious what it is. And it was that even with the borrowed deck, I had an idea of what you'd use. And it wasn't exactly that object, but it's pretty similar. So you kind of know. So just by watching uh, the trailer, you kind of know what you're getting. Uh, so technically you're basically just paying for the script. So are the scripts worth $20 in my opinion? No When you look at illusionist, they're selling other effects with uh, Even bigger impact at lower prices. They even have insane downloads at $9 or They even have some at 14 which are amazing uh, But this $20 feels a little bit steep for basically anyone uh, if you're new to magic that's amazing you'll get the value out of it you'll get the knowledge you get some really good knowledge uh, he gives you um, some tips on uh, what to do with some cards some shuffles so if you're a really beginner you'd get a good value out of this however if you're more experienced intermediate you're probably not gonna get much value out of it you could probably just write your own script yourself uh, put it on a PDF and you're good to go uh, Since most of you already know how it works um, So yeah, that's my that's my honest review um, Again, I'm not paid to do these so For the products I really like I'm actually gonna express it for the products that I find are lacking or Have some negatives. I'm actually gonna say it since I paid my hard-earned money especially I have to go to university and all that and pay my studies, my rent, everything. So I do, I am sometimes overly critical on some things, but that's just for you to know as well on whether you'd like to buy it or not and if it's really something you'd like. So yeah, for this, I'll give it, um, I'd say if you're a beginner magician, I'd give it a eight for 20 bucks. You'll get quite some good knowledge and a fun routine. Uh, if you're more advanced or intermediate, I don't think this is something you would like um personally i don't really see myself using it so i'm gonna give it probably a five a five or six um many magicians on the forum were already upset they kind of told that it's false advertising because we all know what it is and it kind of is that so for more intermediate to experienced musicians this is basically just you're buying uh, 20 us dollars worth of uh, scripts so you're getting five PDFs, so four dollars a PDF for a script, and basically confirmation of what you probably already know. So that's my review. That's my take on it. Uh, I'm not trying to be overly critical about this product. Um, so yeah, I really like Mark Elson's work. I really think that if you have the the urge to do this trick. It is gonna work. You're gonna have fun performing it, but this is not just this is not something for me. I don't quite. I'm gonna see tonight if it gets the reactions, but I don't really think it's gonna get those reactions. So that's just up to me. As always, leave a live comment, uh, hit the bell, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I'm happy to answer about this product or any other products. Uh, I'll put up this week probably um, Seer Pro by Mark Calabrese. So stay tuned for that. And thank you guys and see you in the next review.